Hello Frozies, McFrozen Nuggets here, coming to you with another video, and today I'm actually going to be doing something that I, or rather a review that I have not done something like this for a long while. That'd be a review on Harry Potter shit. Yeah, as you kind of sort of saw from that, our uh, full breakdown of me, or of the drama from between myself and the teenage drama fan base, you might have seen at the very end, that, I'm hope that I was hoping to review these two, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and get them down and out. Especially since they're they're really cool. And also, just really quick, shout out to Peter Kent, aka the Potter Collector, for basically being a huge reason as to why I want to get more Harry Potter replica shit and whatnot. I mean, honest, Peter, you're just awesome, dude. <laughs> you're just simply a fun, nice, kind heart kind, big-hearted guy, who's also a huge Harry Potter fan. Anyway. This is actually gonna be a little bit different because the packaging, in this particular case, are meant to be replicas, Ollivander boxes. This one is Harry's, and he actually has numbers on either side, because As you kind of saw from Sorcerer's Stone, Harry's is the only one whose box was actually seen in the movies. And it also has some nice red ribboning, and it basically came in here, like that. And it also came with a little certificate showing that this is an authentic replica from Noble Collection for Harry Potter. And it's actually the logo seen for Prison. That was done for, or used for Prison of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire. Uh, kind of odd that they haven't changed it to a more current logo. Just take that out. And then, and the other one, the Elder Wand, just has to serve generic sticker. Which, the majority of the other ones do have but personally, I think it would be a little bit more realistic if maybe they all have, like, different number stickers, similar to Harry's. And then keep special ones, like the Elder One, having that sort of generic sticker. And by the way, here's the certificate that came with the Elder One. Pretty much the same thing. Just wanted to show that, though. And it's got some really nice purple ribbon. And you have the... And obviously, just like with Harry's, it came like that. And by the way, I actually got these for my birthday. The Harry's one was given to me by my dad, and the other one was given to me by my mother. Mainly just because, I, because as far as if I had to pick it, I said numerous times if I had to pick at least two ones from Harry Potter to have, it would absolutely be these two. Harry's one, since obviously he's the main character, and the other one because it was out, he obviously most notably belonged to Dumbledore. But he is also one of the one of the three Deathly Hollows. So it makes sense to have it. And plus, as we see by the end of Deathly Hollows Part 2, Harry became the new master of the Elder Wand. So obviously so it also make so that's another reason why it makes sense to have these two together. <laughs> So I'll actually start from Harry's one because technically I have reviewed it already. All this many, many years ago when I did my review of the illuminating Harry Potter wand. Which that one was actually my friend Matt Garish's. But but this one's different because this one is actually mine. And I also have I even still have the protective casing on top of it. And there's the key. I'm gonna do a direct comparison. And... Honestly, see, having Harry's main, more movie accurate one is so freaking awesome. And this is obviously based off how it appeared starting with year three, The Prince of Azkaban. Because the director of that movie, Alfonso Cuaron, decided to change a lot of the 
costume designs and wand designs and have them be have and basically made all the ones have a little bit more personality to them. Though some of the uh, some of the ones I think that remain the same, I know that Professor McGonagall's ones stay the same after a Chamber of Secrets. Obviously Draco Malfoy, that was the main one. Because Tom Felton said that the one that he had for Chamber of Secrets and Sorcerer's Stone just worked completely fine for him. I believe Professor Snape's one stayed the same. But other than that, those other than that, all the other ones that change, or all the other ones did change. Namely, well mainly Harry and Hermione's, because obviously Ron got a new wand for Prince of Azkaban since he broke his old wand. But anyway, back to Harry's wand. It's about 14 inches long, as opposed to what was apparently the way it was described in the book, which was about 10 inches long. And it's made out of holly and has a phoenix tail feather for a core. Which, by the way, that phoenix tail feather, that came from Dumbledore's phoenix, folks. Just gonna take a nice close look right here. And this is, and this may have like a plastic sort of resin. And it also has a steel core, so it does make it feel a little bit heavy. It does have a nice little bit of weight to it. You can see all the nice detailing on the wand. Does have this little copyright symbol right here, series 22. Which act which actually I found that this actually kind of works similar to the uh the date stamps on the cars diecast, like S29A for Glow Racers McQueen here. Meaning he was made on the 29th day or tw not 29th, 29th week of 2023 at the A factory. In this particular case, series 22 means this wand was made in the year 2022. So that's actually kind of cool. Kind of reminds me, when I first saw that, it kind of reminded me of that. Actually, since I have it right here, never really looked at this. Series 16, okay, so my Illuminating Harry wand came out, was made during, in 2016. And then here's the, uh, and now onto the wand part. Hey, looks like it was carved down, then it actually gets very, very smooth. Yeah, I kind of want to, yeah. And yeah, maybe if I, yeah. And then there's bottom. Again, really nice and detailed. As I kind of mentioned, I did previously get the illuminating version of Harry's wand. And honestly, I ain't, I cannot believe, I cannot believe how big and bulky this one is compared to the much more movie accurate version. I mean, jeez um. Although they are pretty much the same length. Obviously, but I do still understand why this one has to be a lot bulkier because... As the name kind of suggests, you know, with heat, heat, get this in properly. As the name kind of suggests, it lights up. Obviously, obviously, another reason why I kind of wanted to get the regular version of Harry's wand is because this kind of became. Or got a little bit annoying because whenever I would try to do it for something like that, I like casting a spell, it would just simply turn on and then obviously to get turned off, I would have to flick it again. And we and it's also kind of annoying for like reenacting like battles and whatnot. Like shouting spells like spelling ominous or stupefy or whatever, but yeah. And just so I wouldn't have to deal with it constantly having it turn on and off because of how temperamental it can be. I just unscrewed the, uh, the bottom a little bit so it wouldn't basically get triggered like that. And actually, before I forget, Harry actually had his wand even though he changed designs in Prince of Azkaban. He got, he actually first got this in Sorcerer's Stone. 
and the last time he, and the last movie he had it in was in Deathly House Part 1. Up until, as they were, as Harry and Hermione were leaving Godric's Hollow and Harry, or not Harry, Hermione cast the Confringo Curse at Nagini and rebound it and hit Harry's wand, effectively breaking it. Which, honestly, it, it kind of sucks, man, because this wand is just so freaking iconic, being the twin brother, in a sense, of Voldemort's wand, which I do hope to get at some point, just simply because, again, twin brother, and plus, Voldemort did acquire the Elder Wand, and, and also for that, and also for that matter, Dumbledore did fight Voldemort while he had, while he had the Elder Wand, so it makes sense. And speaking of the Elder Wand, here is the Elder Wand. Again, the one of the three Deathly Hallows, and is also the most powerful wand ever made. As the name kind of suggests, it is made of Elder, and the core of it is from a festival hair. Which actually kind of makes sense since it's also known as the Death Stick. Just having this thing is just so amazing. All these bulbs right here are meant to represent the elderberries from the tree that it came from. Just get a nice close look. There's a little tag right here with some ancient runes on it. Which does make sense for it being one of the Deathly Hallows. And then, right here. S23, meaning this was made in 2023, or is a part of Series 23. And I think the WBEI means Warner Brothers Entertainment International. I think. And all these bulbs, like, get much thinner as you get towards the end of the wand here. Right here. And honestly, when I, when I first got this thing, I mean, I could not believe how big this thing is. I mean, this thing is 16 inches long. I mean, it is a beast. Like, compare this thing to Harry's wand, 14 inches. Look how, look how much longer it, like... I know it's not really by much, but when we're talking about wands that are, like, relatively small, that's a big difference. And since I kind of mentioned... Since I kind of showed my glow rays of Lightning Queen earlier, here he is compared to the other wand. Look at that big difference. I mean, even even Harry's wand dwarfs McQueen because three inches, fourteen inches, sixteen. Yeah, that's that's just crazy. Yeah, I'm actually gonna switch. I'm actually kind of gonna switch camera or. Switch sides a little bit so you can actually see me holding these wands. Okay, I know the lighting's not really the best here. I just have these two lamps on. Actually, I'll see how I'll already kind of see, even though this is kind of far, even though I'm kind of a little far away, you can kind of see how big this thing is in my hand. I mean, again, compared to Harry's, I am holding them, like, face to face. Like, again, Elder One is quite a bit bigger. I mean, again, obviously it needs to be because it's the Elder One, basically. And actually, I kind of want to I'm not afraid, I'm not ashamed of mentioning this, but the fir one of the very first things I did when I got the Elder Wand was I basically held it kind of like Voldemort did when he first got it, kind of like 
kind of in between his fingers like that, and then he's like pointing up like that when he shot a massive thunderbolt into the sky, thinking he already won his second Risen War. When completely unknown to him, Harry had just disarmed Draco, who was the previous master of the Elder One, since he disarmed Dumbledore, spent night in the astronomy tower in Half Blood Prince, which then basically made Harry the new master of the Elder One. Basically, ensuring his victory over Voldemort in the Battle of Hogwarts in Deathly Hallows Part 2. <sighs> and I've also kind of done like these sorts of. I also, I also recently did a cool post of myself holding both Harry's and Harry's wand and the Elder One, like, like, like this, and then. Like when Harry first caught it in Hallows Part 2, blew out Voldemort's hand, then. And then. <sighs> like that. I'm sorry I can't cut. I'm sorry I didn't, like, finish what I was saying earlier. I just. I was just kind of about to say, like. Basically, in a sense, that means that technically I'm the new master of the Elder Wand. I just kind of. I just kind of have a bit of a brain fart there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this double review of both Harry Potter's wand and the Elder Wand. I'll actually get their respective Ollivander's replica boxes in the background. There's the Elder Wand box. <sighs> yeah, I want to get them both in the shot here. And there's Harry's wand box. I'll just have them right there and there so yeah that's again that's pretty much it for this review i hope you all enjoyed it actually i'm gonna oh dude oh yo 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 actually move these out wait that's an awesome shot right there both harry's one and the other one with their boxes with the Harry Potter movies in the background. The, the only one you can't exactly see. Actually, actually, I'll back it up a little bit. Yeah! Look at that! All eight movies. Both with the two most important wands of the saga. Elder Wand and Harry's Wand. Now that's a, now that's a shot right there. So yeah. Anyway, like I was saying before... Social media links are in the description below. Drop a like if you enjoyed this. Definitely excited to possibly get into doing more Harry Potter reviews. Again, last one I did was the Illuminating Wand. Illuminating version of Harry's Wand in 2018. I was possibly going to get the Elder Wand with Illuminating Tip, but after seeing how bulky it was, I was like, yeah, I'm going to pass. I'm just going to go with for this. And I'm definitely happy I did. And actually also, in case you don't know, Loma Collection also has sells some some of the their Harry Potter merchandise in Barnes and Noble stores, which is pretty cool. There was I actually saw actually recently went there about a week or so ago, and I saw a really and I saw some really cool stuff that I'm hoping to possibly grab. Like I saw the Slytherin locket, I saw Hermione's bag, uh, the Marauder's map, a full size rep replica of Hagrid's umbrella wand. In all Vander style box, much like Harry's and the Elder Wand. And obviously, as you also, as you also may know, I have to get the new Lego flying car that came out er earlier this year, or not, just last month actually. Because first time it's been available, it's its own set. And plus, it was obviously my favorite part of Chamber Secret, so it would make sense. So yeah, as usual, love Ali Frozies to death. Definitely appreciate the support in regards to what's been going on with, between me and the uh, fan base. Just simply gonna stay tough, power through, and just always remember that we're in this together. Yeah, obviously. In regards to the culture war that's been going on lately, even though we've got a big fight ahead of us, we've got one to reference Harry at the end of Order of the Phoenix. 
We've got one thing the far left will never have. Something worth fighting for. So yeah, as usual. Again, love all your frozen to death. And of course, do not forget to keep it rigid. And also, I think it's definitely clear that I can expect great things from all of you. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible.